you think all that gray skin was showing up in the camera? Test! Is that what recording you? Yeah. She is weird there. Look right. I mean, look right. Whew. I don't like being a dancing boy. <laughs> okay, uh, introduce yourself, Nathan. Hi, I'm Nathan. I did electrical and electronic engineering in UCC. Mm -hmm. Same as myself. Same as you, boy. Same yeah. class, all the way up. Yeah. Really? Did you always know you were going to do engineering? Not at all, no. Um, I found it horrendous trying to pick a course. I thought it was terrifying, to be honest. Yeah. I'm trying to pick something. I was so scared that I'd pick the wrong thing and I'd be stuck doing a career that I hated for the rest of my life. Closer, I was attracted to engineering because, again, I didn't want something narrow that I'd be stuck in. Mm. Engineering looked nice and broad. I knew I could go into it and I could go into kind of yeah. many different things after. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it suited what I liked, so. Okay, why don't you tell me a little bit about the degree? Okay, yeah, it's, um, it's a four-year degree, UCC. Um, you come in in first year. First year is common, so you get a taste of everything. All the engineering's pick uh, top two. Mm -hmm. um, so from them top two, you have your first preference, second preference, and you're guaranteed one of them. Okay, what are your choices? So you have electrical and electronic engineering, mm -hmm. uh, energy, civil, and uh, process and chemical. Uh, you pick your one, then in second year you specialize in one of them. So okay. second year then is just like a normal year, you've got your coursework and exams. You can do an Erasmus in third year, or else you can split the year into two, like a normal year like everyone else, where you do first, year, first half of the year is just coursework and exams. And then second half of the year, you do work placement. So that's what I did. Fourth year then is more structured again. So it's like you have your modules, you have your exams, and you do a final year project as well. So that's a big chunk of it. In the second semester, you do like you make project, you kind of write a bit of a thesis, yeah. and then final exams. Cool. Can you tell me a little bit about your final year project? Yeah, so um, I did my final year project in photonics. So basically all about light and lasers. So type in a word or say a shape. And then within the system, I had this laser that would scan really fast onto any surface, like a wall or a projector, and it would give out the image just by scanning the laser. Yeah. That's one of the, like, the really cool things, specifically about electrical engineering too, like you can really apply your theory mm. into actual physical Seeing entities. Seeing like, like that was massive for yeah. me. Um, but like that was just one type of project, like Darren obviously you did. We did uh, brain myself, a brain, a brain controlled robotic car. You can do everything from the electronic side of things, so that's where I did my work place, and then so you're designing kind of like chips and little microprocessors and things that go into phones, any electronic device basically. Yeah. And then on the other kind of side of it, you have power uh, power engineering, which is kind of larger scale electrical engineering. You know, kind of like ESB uh, grids, the power lines you see around yourself, electric vehicles like Tesla and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So even if you're interested in like going into finance and stuff like that. Nate, help me. Oh, that was good. Okay. It's good. It's good. Got it. Well, a new thing they've brought into the degree now is that um, after four years, mm -hmm. you can actually continue on and do one extra year to do a master's. So when yeah. we finished up, it was a four-year degree. You finished up. If you wanted to do a master's, you went down a separate route. But now yeah. you come into fourth year, you can actually decide whether you want to just do fourth year and finish the degree yeah. or go straight through for fourth year, do one more year, and then you come out with a master's. Steamy windows, why? Could um, you give me an example of like how intense the course is? Yeah, I mean... So I suppose you look at the book of modules, you know, before you're looking at a course and we had maybe like 20 hour lectures a week. Mm -hmm. But like realistically, we were putting in at least 40 hour weeks. What? Um, it's more than school basically, isn't it? Yeah. So like it has pros and cons. So like there's a lot of continuous assessment, which means you're going into exams and maybe 30% done. Yeah. So then there's not as much pressure on exam time, but then that means that when you're doing those assignments through the year, you're spending long nights mm -hmm. inside the labs. <laughs> like, um, a lot of hot chicken rolls, a lot of coffees, a oh, lot of camaraderie hugs. Stuff. <laughs> but um, it wasn't too bad. A good part of that too was that there was a lot of group work, which I absolutely loved. Yeah. So you weren't kind of like stuck, stuck down, down your own. on your own doing yeah. stuff. Like we kind of worked together. It's a nice stuff. change from the Leaving Cert kind of doing your all like individual assignments yeah. and then to do it in a, in a group where you feel a bit of teamwork around the whole thing. Put that in there. <laughs> Were there any subjects like in the leaving search that like particularly stood to you in the course? Um, yeah, absolutely. Actually, definitely for engineering, maths and physics were yeah. really, really important. Yeah. So you had a lot of people who would have been like well capable at, across a broad range of subjects, but maybe just past maths or kind of struggling maths and physics, and yeah. they really they found it really tough in the mm. course. You want to have a good work ethic. Um, you want to have kind of a, a kind of an interest in problem solving, like getting yeah. stuck into problems. Other than that, I don't know. Is there anything you could recommend? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it just says full. Listen. Jesus Christ! Fantastic! 
what are the job prospects like for people coming out of electrical engineering? We were really lucky with the job prospects. Um, so obviously we didn't take up a job prospect straight away, but I think like I said, for every one student coming out of electrical engineering, there's about four jobs on offer. Like, yeah. So there's massive job prospects there. And then there's also prospects for postgrad stuff. If you want to do a master's or a PhD, there's loads of opportunities with that. Yeah. And then you can go down the route that we're doing, be broke for a couple more years and try to start your own business. But <laughs> What kind of salaries should you be expecting coming out of electrical engineering? So I think most of the graduate positions that you come into, you'd be starting off on a salary of like kind of early 30s, so 33, 34,000. You do kind of like a two year program where you're probably staying around that pay scale. And then after that, as you progress on, you move up towards like the 40,000 mark. Nice. 40. There's money there, which is fantastic. Like. <laughs> Yeah, so like, <laughs> <laughs> if you were to go back to, to your leaving Sir Nathan with that amazing jaw, um, <laughs> ask that again. <laughs> the money uh, is great at job, but I definitely would be a firm believer that if you're doing what you enjoy, follow that, the money will kind of sort itself out. Yeah. That's something I didn't know in college, definitely didn't know back in the leaving Sir, but people who are, who are like quite successful, people making money, and they all say the same if you're doing what you enjoy, you will excel in it, no yeah. matter what it is. Like, yeah. So it doesn't have to be looking for a course that makes money, I think that's a bad way to go about it. Yeah. I mean, like, not, not everyone is lucky enough to have the jaw like his. You can <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> oh, what? One, two, three, four.